Hey everybody, I'm Red Rock Spire, and welcome to episode 4 of my Minecraft Create Skyblock series. Uh, welcome back, uh, like I said, this is episode 4. Um, we're going to do some interesting stuff with Create today. And actually, it looks like the sun's just about to set, so we'll sleep in a second and we'll get started. But before that, we'll talk about what we've done off camera. Let's see, we added an extra water wheel and this little contraption right over here for a mill, which we'll use a little bit today. And let's go ahead and get our mill set up. And there we go. I already have the pieces laid out on our crafting station. Boom, there we go. And we can go over here and we can place our mill right there. We're good to go. Now I better let us sleep. All right, what else do we have going on? We have um, a large colossal chest over there. And then we we mirrored our mining setup right over there, our ore generator setup, and then we butterflied it over. And then we built some powered rails in between on a short little track. And I did that, did that all off camera. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get some zinc ore because we're gonna need to make some brass today. We've got some dried kelp. Um, which we'll use in some creative stuff as well, or some stuff for create that we're going to do to build uh, build our collection system right over here for our generators. Yeah, and here you can see we have it built up. Now, we don't have the nether pieces because we don't have more packed ice, or, or actually blue ice, and we don't have more soul sand. So um, over time, we'll slowly add that, and our farm will get better and better and better. Let's see, I topped up. Um, our water strainer and I think we'll also possibly get a little bit into our tree and food farm I also started to build bridges out to that island over there and that island over there but I didn't now the first thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and grab a sword and we will head over to our desert and we'll cut down a little bit of cactus because that's something that we're going to need. Alright, let's see, we have turtle eggs, potato seed, or uh, pumpkin seeds, a potato, carrots, oh, very cool. And then we got sweet berries, and rabbit spawn eggs, and spruce um, from that other island that we passed through. So we're going to hop over here, and we're going to cut our cactus, and we're going to leave, cool, and we got four. And we're going to leave that little piece over here to spawn and regrow on its own, just in case. Nice little insurance policy. All right, we're going to go ahead and jam two of our cactus in here and get some dye. And then we're going to go ahead and convert two of our bone meal into white dye. And let's go ahead and put up all of our loot that we got on the islands. All right, now our first order of business is going to be to work on our uh, minecart contraption over there that will do our mining for us. So let's go ahead and start putting together the pieces. First we're going to need a cart assembler and we have a cart assembler and we can't make that oh let's see we need some iron nuggets don't we well that's handy we have iron nuggets so we make our cart assembler and we'll just make one for now we'll need a mine cart we will also need linear chassis, and I think we will need two of these. So I think we'll need about six total. 
we'll need a chest. We have a hopper, which will be handy on our collection side. We're gonna need glue. Now the glue is gonna be made with a slime ball, iron sheet, and nuggets. We're gonna need to make a slime ball. Now there's a special recipe for slime balls in this mod. So let's go ahead and take care of that. And with our mill that we placed over here, and we can just throw our wheat right in there. And we can take our wheat right here and we can take it and we can put it right here on our depot and this wheat will actually turn or this uh this um milled flour will actually turn into dough and then we should be able to come over here and get our green dye and come back to our crafting table and we can take our white dye and then our green dye and we can make lime green dye and then we can take the lime green dye and we can make a slime ball with our dough and that's really cool so then let's go ahead and put our stuff up that we don't need let's see we don't need that yet all right so for the glue, the only other piece that we need is the iron sheet. We'll, we'll go ahead and make our drill as well because that's a piece that we'll need. Now we're gonna need to press some gold as well for a different tool that we need to make. So let's go ahead and do that. We should be pretty prepared since we're going to start making some create mechanisms though let's go ahead and make our create wrench this will be a super super important tool for us that we use throughout um, our adventures making uh, stuff with create all right so let's go ahead and make our glue and i think we have everything we need so let's go ahead and walk over here let's see yeah we'll go ahead and walk over here so we're gonna go ahead and make our auto miner now we're gonna go ahead and place the card assembler on the ground we're gonna go out a couple and I think we go out four total because from the rail will be one two three four to the blocks that we want to mine so we're going to go ahead and put some super glue on the end right here and we'll go ahead and stick our mine right there and what we need to make up here is we need to go ahead and put one two and we'll go ahead and put our chest on there now there's one other thing that we need to make um, that other thing is going to be a portable storage interface now the portable storage interface is going to use brass i believe it's going to use brass casings so we're going to have to go ahead and get ourselves to the brass age and so let's go ahead and start our smelting for that and so we'll go over here to our auto smelter or our basic alloy smelter we have our steel ingots from last episode still there and we have zinc and copper now we got the the zinc from um, our manual mining over the little copper block right there overhead um, just so everybody knows now the interface the storage interface Portable storage interface right here is brass and an andesite funnel. Now let's go ahead and make two of these and let's see what we need for brass. All we need is stamped brass sheets. And let's see if we have some brass. We already do. All right.
All right, so now we can go ahead and make two portable storage interfaces. We'll put that right there. We'll take our hopper. And we'll put our hopper right there. And we'll put our other storage interface right there. Now that interface is not facing the correct direction. So we will rotate it. And there we go. Now our mining machine right here should be good to go. Let's see, it should go all the way around. All of our rails are powered and everything. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna slap a cart right in there. And then we're gonna, let's look at our chest first. We have nothing in there. We have nothing in here. Let's turn our machine on and get it started and give it a little push and watch. It's gonna go right around and it's gonna drill right through everything. Yep. Now watch what it does right over here. It's gonna stop and it's gonna dump items into our chest. And there you go. Silver, nether rack, nether rack, or nether quartz, cobblestone, bauxite, lead ore, etc. Now it's gonna go through here and we'll actually keep it open right whenever it connects and we'll watch it. So it's putting in silver and blah, 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 blah. Very cool. So now this will just run pretty much in perpetuity, in perpetuity from for uh, from now on, and we can we can do a little more work to add more things that we don't even have to stop it whenever we do that. Now, I do caution when you uh, when you have to stop these types of machines, especially these ones that rotate and things like that. You may mess up the orientation and things like that. And uh, so I don't plan on uh, stopping this machine ever again. I pr I plan on it just dumping uh, dumping material in here, um, you know, from now on. All right, so that's one of our projects done today, and that was a lot. That took um, that took a lot of time to sort of get set up and get done right. Now, what's the next thing that we want to do? The next thing we want to work on is our food and wood. So let's let's take a look at that. We are going to need a windmill bearing. And we are missing the turntable for that. And that's really simple. And we have our windmill bearing right there. And we're also going to need to make radial chassis. So the linear ones move on contraptions and the radials, um, the radial chassis go on um, machines that are um, essentially rotating things that go on one mill or, or uh, machine bearings and that, that type of thing. So things that spin versus things that sort of move. And um, super glue is not necessarily what you use on, on radial devices. You actually use a slime ball. Um, so that's a little bit different. So let's go right over here and we'll knock this uh, centerpiece out. And we'll get our windmill bearing in there, right there. And then we'll go ahead and go and that should be it. So like I said, these are slightly different. Um, we're just going to go and stick some stuff to it. And I don't think we needed that many, but We'll go with it. Now these radials are interesting. You actually just come over here. You come over here with the wrench and then you look at it. This is eight radius scroll and if you look it highlights the four blocks that I put in. Now if we scroll that down, you'll notice if we scroll it down, you see how it's basically saying, hey, I'm gonna attach to two or three or four or five or six or whatever. So we're just gonna scroll it back up to eight. Um, and that's fine, because we don't even have eight things. So we're good to go there.
Okay, now we have a good clean way of getting up top. And actually, let's go ahead and go up here and let's slap that on right there. And we'll go ahead and bring our planks out. And then once again, we can go and look at it. And sure enough, it's set to eight. So we're good to go right there. <clears throat> now, what are we gonna need? We're going to need a few things. We're going to need a, let's see, hand. Oh, let's see, it's going to be called a deployer. Ah, we need an andesite casing. We're gonna need the brass hand. Ah, we do need more brass sheets, okay. So let's go ahead and press more brass sheets. got our hand and then we need our electron tube and it's going to need polished quartz and I think we have sandpaper do we have sandpaper ah we don't have sandpaper all right well let's go ahead and make some sandpaper and we're gonna knock down one of these gigantic sugar canes and get some uh, get some sugar uh, sugar cane in our inventory, and then we'll just roll right over here, and we'll stamp a few of these right into paper, which is great. I think it's um, I think it's uh, cheaper than actually doing it through the normal recipe with uh, multiple. I think you get one to one this way, one one paper to uh, one piece of sugar cane. So that's really handy. All right, so we can take our sandpaper or our paper, and then I believe we just take some sand. Very, very simple recipe. One, two, three. And we can go ahead and craft that up. All right, now we're just gonna take that rose quartz and put it in our inventory and then we're going to put the sandpaper in our offhand and we're just going to left click and there we go now we should be able to make one of these electron tubes and that's going to be a very very important piece of equipment um, that electron tube is is one of the earlier things that we uh, have to build a lot of all right we have our deployer then we need a mechanical saw and we're going to need some iron. We're going to need at least a few iron ingots right there or iron sheets and the harvester. Now, what does the harvester use? Ah, okay. So we're going to need quite a bit of stuff. So let's go ahead and let's crank out. Let's crank out 12 of those. actually missing andesite. So let's go ahead and run right over here to our water strainer, which earlier I said would be very crucial. And sure enough, uh, it turns out our, uh, our water strainers are very crucial because they are slow, but they do give us renewable resources. So I believe we can take our andesite and do that number right there. And we can get andesite cobblestone. And then we should be able to just pop them right in there. Oop, that didn't work. Pop them right in there. And then after a moment or two, we should have plenty of andesite. 
at least enough to continue what we're working on. So let's go ahead and run over here with our glue and get started. So we're going to want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to want to place our saw blade probably right there and our deployer inset just a little bit. And we don't have a chest, do we? Well, that's okay. We'll go ahead and get a chest in our inventory. We have a couple and a site now. And so we should be able to make a bit. What? We'll be able to make at least two of those. And that's good enough for a start right now. So let's go ahead and go with that. And we'll go ahead and place them right there and right there. And then we'll place our chest right here. And we'll go up on the top. And we'll place our deployer right there. And our saw right there. Very cool. Now this is a windmill bearing and we don't actually have a windmill built. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and make wind sails. And we can just make some empty ones. Oh, and of course we're out of andesite. <laughs> of course. So let's go ahead and make some wind sails. All right, and we should be able to make one more harvester. So let's go ahead and make one more. Oh, and we're out of andesite casings. Okay, well. So we'll have to wait a little bit on our one more harvester. Now a windmill needs, I think, eight to run. And I think that's a more recent change. It used to, um, it used to be happy with just, oh, that's not the correct direction. It used to be happy with um, just one. And I think that has changed at some point. I think they did an update and, and that, that definitely changed. So let's go ahead and do like that. All right, and so we have our windmill. Now, if we turn this on, um, it should start running. However, we're going to need to do a couple things here. We're gonna to need to get a couple saplings we're actually going to need to make two more portable storage interfaces. Let's see if we have the stuff for that. Okay, we sure do. And we have two portable storage interfaces. And then we can go ahead and grab two more chests. And we're going to need probably some half slabs to do some construction. All right, let's talk about this for a sec. We're going to need to place one of our portable storage interfaces right there. And then we're going to need to come out one. And then we're going to need to have a chest, right? Oh, no. And there we go. We fell right off. Whoops. And we couldn't make it over to any water. We walked right off. There we go. All right, so we have that right there. Let me go ahead and start eating because that's uh, very important. Or we will actually die the next time we fall. Now we can go ahead and go right there.
And we can go ahead and stick our hopper right there. And we can stick our second portable storage interface right there. Now we have nothing in there. And we can preload our chest with a couple saplings. Actually, let's put about half of them in there. And what we'll need to do is we need to come up here to our placer or our um, deployer, I think, is that what it's called? The deployer, and we'll need to put a sapling filter on it. And that way it will actually place down saplings. Now the next thing that we're gonna need to do, is we're gonna need to take out our hoe and we're gonna wanna go ahead and start planting. Probably break this hoe in a second, that's fine. And there we go, that's plenty to get started. So let's go ahead and see what we have to plant. I think we have carrots and potatoes and wheat. So we have a couple carrots, one, two, three, four. Uh-oh. Hmm, where did he come from? Where did he come from? <laughs> Very odd. Uh, I'm not sure where that guy came from. All right, well, we'll beware. All right, and where is our potato? I know we have a potato. We have five potatoes. Very cool. All right, so let's go plant our stuff, and we'll go ahead and grab a little bit of bone meal so we can demo this out. And we'll go ahead and plant. And so our machine should be good to go at this point. We'll go ahead and approach it with an empty hand and we're going to go ahead and click on our bearing and there you go it's started up it's using the interface nothing's moving over oh it's moving over the oak saplings actually okay but it should have filled up the deployer and so let's clear the chest out and it's going to run around and it's going to run this harvester over our crops now this should also have planted at least one tree, and it sure did. And we can actually plant more trees on our own. All right. Now let's go ahead and bone meal. Oh, too much. We can bone meal some stuff and then eventually what's gonna happen is it's gonna go and cut some of our stuff down. And when it cuts the stuff down, um, you noticed in this mod pack, it actually replants. And we'll just let that run for a little bit and then we'll come up here and we'll deal with our trees. Now we can cheat on the trees because we can come over here and we can do that number by them. And sure enough, it'll go ahead and cut. Now the cool thing is, since this is a contraption, we have a chest on it. Um, what it's going to do is it's actually going to cut this tree and it should take 100% of the tree and place it in the inventory. Oh, and we have another tree already. <laughs> Now we should be able to start our machine right back up. 
an empty hand on the bearing, and there we go. Now it's going to go ahead and dump an item, and it should go ahead and cut all of our trees now, happily. And boom! And it took the whole tree. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. And you see this will actually plant the saplings. And there we go. It just planted the sapling and it's going to cut and it's going to plant. Very cool. Now we can go down here. It looks like we haven't had anything get harvested yet. All right, there should be quite a bit of tree material in our chest, in our contraption, and it's gonna empty it out. Sure enough, look at that. All right, so now we have oak. Uh, we have oak logs and we're gonna get saplings and all sorts of other stuff. I think we get sticks as well. Um, we may even get apples, ah, very cool. And then the same thing will happen on the bottom as our crops mature. Um, these harvesters will actually roll over them and break them. Um, and they automatically replant themselves, which is really nice. They'll end up in the chest as well, and whenever the interfaces line up, then we'll get food over here as well. Um, so now we have um, a, sustain a sustainable source of food, and that's, uh, that's great. Um, we will probably off camera go along and add um, more harvesters as well as we will go ahead and um, till all of this dirt and we'll plant the uh, you know the various things that we want to grow all right well anyway so we've done two very 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 major farms our wood and plant farm it's fully automated and it's going to dump stuff eventually we'll have a big uh, smelter and sorter that makes some um, our, our charcoal scenario unlimited um, and what else? We also did a little bit more with Create. We made, um, we made a mill and we have our mine system. Now let's take a look over here um, and see how, much, uh, how, how many ores we have. Very cool, look at that. How very exciting is that? We have, now we have uh, Nether Quartz Renewable. We have all the silence mechanisms, things renewable. It will actually mine ancient debris, it's rare. Um, we get um, pretty much renewable magma blocks, renewable gold, renewable soul sand. Uh, it will slowly make cobble and it will also make blackstone. Now blackstone is very important because blackstone is um, the one of the ways that we will go ahead. Oh, that's not the right one. I guess we have to have crushing wheels, but blackstone, whenever we cr crush blackstone, um, it will actually create andesite and other things like that for us. Now there's another thing that we can do where we can make, uh, where we can put sand um, in our mill. And I'll go ahead and grab a bit of sand. Actually, let me go ahead and dump all of our materials and we'll go ahead and deal with our loot bag. So we have a bit of loot bags to deal with. We'll get all of our stuff except our essential tools out of here. All right, and let's get some sand. Let's get a full stack of sand. And I'll show you the one other thing that we've managed to make uh, renewable, which I think everyone will be excited about. You take our sand and throw it in there. Um, it'll come out of the bottom as lime sand, which is neat. All right, let's go ahead and open up all of our loot bags and we'll see what we do with lime sand and I think we'll call it a day. I'm just gonna go ahead and burn all of these. What did we get? Azul Joe, whatever that is, some building block, very cool. Blue dye, tiled glass, black glazed terracotta, beautiful. Mythic rarity shard, I, I don't know what that's for. Diorite block slab, an andesite tunnel, <laughs> okay. Cool create piece right there. Some dry grass, dark scoria cobblestone, terra steel boots. Um, all right, so that's cool. 
Um, I guess we can go ahead and throw those on. Why not? Pink concrete, uh, brick slab, mana pearl, layered andesite, a crimson sign. Cool. <laughs> Another netherite pickaxe. Oh my word. That's the second netherite pickaxe we've gotten. A block of bismuth steel. Uh, Vincula. Uh, Vinculotus? Cool. Black carpet. Got a music disc. Chisel dolomite. Red glazed terracotta. Insight stairs. Bis bismuth steel nugget. Chiseled metamorphic tiger. Woo. Chiseled metamorphic tiger stone brick. Okay. And an oak log. All right. Well, that's, you know, whatever. That's, that's a decent amount of stuff, right? And let's put the lime sand on our depot and let's see what happens. Very cool, look at that. We got a pretty full set of stuff right there. What all did that make us? That made us redstone, so now redstone is renewable. That's great. Lapis lazuli, which will be great as well. Prismarine shards, emeralds, and they're kind of rare, and prismarine crystals. If we put lime sand in front of uh, cooled water, we'll get prismarine uh, shards and crystals, diamonds at 2%, emeralds at 2%, redstone dust at 25%, and lapis lazuli at 10% as well. So we got a few more things, still no diamonds. Well, that's okay though. We got two emeralds and that's, that's really cool. So now those are all renewable as well. We just need to um, process cobble multiple times with a crusher and we have sand or our strainer will just crank out dirt which we can uh, throw in the water to make sand well anyway that's it for today i'm i'm red rock spire thanks for watching episode four i think next time maybe we'll start um working on some interesting things like our mob spawner um and our mob spawner will go right over there and maybe we'll work on um powering a couple things and uh um I don't know, we might even get into something like starting on our uh, coal processor and some things like that. Well, anyway, thank you very much. I'm Red Rock Spire. Thanks for watching this episode, and we can't wait to see you next time. Cheers!